Evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Bongo, and I'm being awfully self-indulgent at the moment. I'm being here the um, Got a couple of poems to tell you. I'm going to start off with one about how homework taints innocence. When my sister Stevie Jade was aged six and innocent, she came home from school with a project on the environment. Having exhausted all our books on her lengthy toil, she sweetly typed into Google, birds covered in oil. Mother dashed across the room without a jot of grace. Seemingly not in time though, you should have seen her face. Second, sorry. <laughs> this second piece is an angry letter to the cash point at the co-op on Lewis Road. <laughs> As I'm approaching your screen and you are still thanking the man who's walked off, having done with his banking, and you won't take my card, though your wheels are cranking, I realise the glare of the sun is screen blanking. To block out the light I contort and I twist and I'm hunching my shoulders and bending my wrist and I'm shaking my head and I'm shaking my fists. The urge to walk away now is hard to resist. The lapse of this ten seconds alone feels drastic as I mimic the Chuckle Brothers with this bit of plastic. I wanted a tenor, not this flaming slapstick. Then at long last it goes in. Fantastic. Round two, here we go. Ding ding, beep, 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 beep. The grind between buttons is making them sleep. If we were to anthropomorphize the bugger, it would be the black sheep. This lengthy transaction is making me weep. The third try now looms and I'm wrapped with attention. You could cut through the air with a knife for the tension. More time now passes as I push and wait with contention. For the monotonous tone of push button confirmation. Pin finally in. The next challenge awaits. The buttons and options on the screen are not straight. Was this machine only built to frustrate and drive the once patient people now queuing with hate? The number alignment is making me fret. If I make the wrong option, I'll be thrown into debt. If it's a hundred, not ten, I'll be very upset. But then, with a nudge of my finger, the action is set. A few seconds later, your wheels start a whirring. Between my bank and your money, electronically deferring. Praying to the gods of the overdraft that the storm is not stirring. Before you quite casually spit out my card as if concurring. The tenor <laughs> at long last is mine and they ask, Would you like an advice slip? What is this fast? You struggle to complete even this simple task. What mysterious quest, dear cash point, would you suggest that I embark? <laughs> Next one is a little ditty that I wrote whilst at a festival making breakfast. It's called Camping Cooking. When fried eggs don't go to plan, just scramble them instead. It looks like you did it on purpose, and it still goes well with bread. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm going to perform now to that I'm best known for, and my lovely friend over there can actually quote me now, word for word, but there's quite a few people here who haven't heard it, so I'm going to read it anyway. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the first one's called Wow Widow, which is written for anyone who's been near anyone that's computer obsessed, especially in the context of a relationship. Um, we seem to have some trouble, my geek lover and I. When we go to bed at night, he leaves me on standby. When he takes my clothes off, it's really not the same vigour or enthusiasm as unwrapping a new game. 
If I were a computer, he'd turn me on all day. Seeing me in CGI would make him want to play. But when I nibble his earlobes, he treats me with disdain. I have buttons too, you know. They just don't look the same. <laughs> I've tried to show an interest. Watch closely whilst he's slayed. Tried to fathom why he'd rather be an elf than get laid. <laughs> Maybe I'll try explaining in terms that he can get. Because I'm not machinery, it's fine when I get wet. And if, tonight, again, I have to please myself, it won't just be the monsters that do damage to his health. We can work out a system of gaming constitution. If it's what he really needs, a level up prostitution. And I'll use his language to tell him when I come. An orgasm in binary. One, one, oh, oh, one, one. <laughs> inappropriately by wet patch. <laughs> After the moment, there's always a fuss. My darling, we whisper, something's come between us. During the action, you sneakily slide, moving our bodies more onto my side. And after it all, I'm left bereft, and you smile. You bastard, I sleep on the left. Being the sort to deal with an issue, I frantically dab and rub with the tissue. But being the nature of the juices of sin, it's now just a wet patch with bits in. <laughs> uh, I'm going to end this now with two quite short ones. They're both haikus. One's called Haiku Haiku. Rebelling without a cause. Seven and then five. Then back to seven. Fuck you. Woo! <laughs> And the second one is called Vagina Haiku. You called me a cunt. Warm, furry, and inviting. <laughs>